No one knows the whereabouts of this man, Guinea-Bissau's Prime Minister Carlos Gomes Jr. Seen here earlier this year, he's now missing as the attempted coup by the military took place. There's precious few details from this West African country, but it appears that the army attacked his home and shut down state radio and TV. It appears that the military is now in control and that senior leaders are in their custody. On Thursday at a meeting in the Ivory Coast, the Guinea-Bissau foreign minister told delegates of his concerns about army action. I contacted the interim prime minister. I spoke to her and she told me she was under attack by the military. That's it. It's very serious. The country has had a troubled history. Its president died of complications from diabetes in January, which left interim leader Raimundo Pereira in charge. Created as a nation in 1974, it only got its first elected president in 1994, and he was ousted in a military coup just four years later, which led to a civil war. Elections were held again in 2000. Kambayala was elected, but he was deposed after only three years. His successor, former President Vieira, was killed by renegade soldiers. <laughs> Violence has always plagued this country, known for its cocaine trafficking. That's now unlikely to change. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera. Well, a short time ago, the head of the UK Electoral Observation Mission, Peter Thompson, spoke to us about the coup taking place in the capital. This morning, the streets are very quiet uh, in Bissau. Uh, it does appear that the military are in control. Uh, last night, uh, it started at around 7.30 p.m. local time last night. Uh, we heard a number of explosions. Uh, I would think it likely to have been rocket-propelled grenade fire, followed by uh, quite a lot of gunfire. Um, it, I believe that the, pre the offices of the presidency have been um, taken. The whereabouts of the prime minister, uh, who was a candidate in the elections, and the interim president are, are currently unknown, but they have been uh, arrested or taken in some fashion.